Hi, it's Dr. Lisa. During the pandemic, we've heard a lot about vaccine trials, research, studies. What does it all mean? Sometimes it can be a bit confusing. So let's talk to people, see if they understand the difference and why clinical trials are important. Today we're talking to people about clinical trials. Do you know okay. what a clinical trial is? Uh, I somewhat, but you know, I'd rather you just give me the whole, you know, sh shebang a bang, you know. Well, usually clinical trials, I think you like if they're trying to test out, you know, medications and things of that nature, they might select the, you know, a few people, you know, to just do trials on them, I guess. Uh, but they test something that hasn't been put into market yet. Yeah. It's essentially when um, something is not fully vetted but you're going through the process of using voluntary individuals to go through the process for research and collection of data. And what is the difference between a clinical trial and a research study? I'm not too sure. Research studies look at data that they've already collected versus um, a clinical trial is, you know, testing it real time. Uh, no, I don't. They're the same. They are? Huh. Yeah. So why are they important? So that we can learn the effects of different things on on humans, basically, other than studying what? Yeah, so you can learn the long-term long -term effects of long -term things versus long -term. just being able to give somebody something and expecting it to work. Yeah. Well, I feel like it's, it's definitely important because, you know, there's a lot of stuff that is still not unfound yet as far as, like, in the health area so you always need to do studies that's always you know technology changes medication changes we want to be sure it's safe and effective um and so we need that data to yeah. test that during the pandemic we've had a lot of people pushing back against the research on these vaccines but if you think clinical trials are a good idea what's that about i think what it is is because it's just like a lot of gray areas as far as with you know vaccines and covid 19 so it kind of raises the eyebrow just a little bit when you know you think of it because it's it's like it, it's, it's unknown charter territories. Misinformation, or people don't know, or people get misinformation from places. Yeah, and where are you seeing the most misinformation? Probably like I mean, the only social media I'm on is Facebook, and mm -hmm. so I think Facebook has a lot of misinformation. Yeah, the African American community, we have um, historically just. Um, a lot of bad experiences attached to clinical trials and research. And what do you think we need to do to increase participation of black and brown people in clinical trials? Um, I think the education. I think education of, of why it's important. I think education that a lot of the information that we're getting is third party. Um, filtering of the education that we get and the information that we get sometimes is through social media as opposed to reading. We have to look at the general public, what is our American public made of, and make sure that we're getting representation from everyone who would take the medication or get the vaccine. So a clinical trial is also a research study. The reason they're important is because this is how we get our treatments and medications. So if you're taking a medication for any health condition, those medications had to go through a clinical trial process. It's also really important to have a lot of diversity in the clinical trials so that we are clear about what works and what doesn't work for different populations. If you have more questions about clinical trials, contact us. I'm Dr. Lisa and I'll see you on the street.